Hey there, I'm Megan. Welcome back. Today's video is a Ikea hack for a hanging light made out of a basket and a regular pendant light from Ikea. When I put this on Instagram, you guys were messaging me asking me if I was making a tutorial. Here I am. I'm making a tutorial. <laughs> if you don't already follow me over on Instagram, my name is at Bell and Cotton. Now this project can be completely customized to use any basket or any uh, pendant light. I am making this light using only Ikea items, but you can find similar items on Amazon as well as your local hardware store, Home Goods, Target, places like that. And I will link some similar items below in the case that you are not close to an Ikea. I have been looking for a hanging light like this and the ones that I found that I've liked are very expensive and oftentimes they don't even come with the actual light installed in it. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you how I customized this basket and turned it into a hanging light. So this is the basket that I got from Ikea and you can see it has those two handles on there which look to be pretty easy to remove. They're just wrapped in this little reed and I was able to kind of just pull it out with my little tool. I have an awl that I use for caning but you can use a butter knife or you can just cut it if you can't reach the little part that's tucked into there. If you do cut it, you don't want to cut it all the way across because we're going to save this and we're going to reattach it. So now I need to pull my handle out. It looks like it's either nailed in or stapled in, so I'm just using a butter knife to just kind of stick it in between the handle and the uh, frame of the basket and kind of lift that out. You wanna be gentle when you're doing this because you don't wanna damage the basket in the process. So now I've got all the handles off and it's starting to look more like a light shade, but I have these places where I remove the reed and it looks like something's missing. So that's where I'm going to reapply the reed. So what I did was I just took my reed and I wrapped it around those spots where it was missing and you can just tuck the little tail and kind of pull. They were a little too long, so I just snipped off the extra and then tucked it underneath what I previously wrapped. So the light I'm using for this project is the Hema from Ikea, and the way it's gonna be held on, if you look at the, this is the light here, is when we unscrew this part, this part needs to go through the top of the basket, and this will screw on behind the light and hold the basket onto the light. When we create a hole in the bottom of this basket, it needs to be, the same diameter as the bottom of this piece so that it can slip through. So what I'm gonna do is just measure the diameter here. It's an inch and a half that we have here. So I'm going to cut a hole in the bottom of this basket that has an inch and a half diameter. So what I'm using to do this are some gardening pruning shears. <laughs> I don't know that I necessarily recommend that. They did work, although I did have to kind of work to cut through that um, bamboo or rattan material. So if I were you, what I would recommend would be like a bolt cutter. Obviously, sometimes you have to use what you have. So just be safe with whatever you use. That is my only recommendation. Because this is a hardwired light, we're not just plugging and playing. I turned off my power and I removed the old light. And if you have been watching my channel for a long time, you'll remember that this is my very first video where I spray painted the chandelier. It used to be silver and now it is being sold on Facebook Marketplace and we will have a new light here. I highly recommend when uninstalling or installing a new light, you should definitely have someone to help you. They can be very heavy and it just gets tiring holding your arms over your head for a very long time. So I got my husband to help me with this, but I don't recommend doing it by yourself. Thank you guys for watching. I am in the middle of doing a ton of projects in my kitchen, dining room, and living room, so make sure that if you're interested in any of that, you subscribe to my channel. Check out the other videos that I have on my channel. I have tons of DIYs as well, and I'll see you guys next time.